One last quadric surface that we should ought to mention. That's when a over x, y over b, and z over c is equal to zero. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Our x or yz trace, hyperbola, our xz trace, hyperbola, our y, yx trace, ellipse. So what we get in this case, we don't have any imaginary restrictions because whenever we add this to the other side, it's not a hyperbola of one sheet. <coughs> in fact, it's a cone. Our traces aren't hyperbolic at all. Let's just look. Let x equals 0. Then you have y over b squared is equal to z over c squared. Mm -hmm. Take the square root of both sides, and you end up with y equaling plus or minus b over c z. What are these guys? They're lines. They're lines passing through the origin and having slope b over c. And those wrap all the way around. And that's how you get yourself a cone.